Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a glowy makeup tutorial. Um, a lot of it is going to be glowy skin. Um, I'll have like a bronzy glowy eye. So as you know, spring just sprung. <laughs> so it's getting warmer out here in LA. It's really nice. So I'm getting the total um, summer vibes, spring vibes. I don't know about anywhere else. I know my parents back in Indiana, it's like still kind of cold there. I want to do this tutorial just, I love glowy skin, honestly. It's one of my favorite looks ever. I love the full beat down and super matte and looking super flawless, but I also love being super dewy and very glowy and very healthy, very like natural, you know, I love that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this video is sponsored by Nick of Scarlet and I will be featuring their new palettes in this video. So here is what the front of the palette looks like. It says Nick of Scarlet. Here is the back, just the logo and some info back there. So here are the shades I'm gonna be using today. There are 10 of them. Uh, the first row is mattes and the second row are shimmers. So this is a special edition eyeshadow palette um, and it's called Destination Desert. So this palette was inspired by the beauty of the desert landscape, which I can appreciate because I love the desert. Moving out to California was really cool for me because the desert out here is just so pretty. I just love the desert. I love like the west and everything. Um, so a lot of these names um, correspond with the desert, which I think is really cool. Cactus. I love cactuses. My favorite plant ever. So there's also a dual ended eyeshadow brush that says it's an add on for this month. As you guys may not know, Decca Scarlet is a beauty makeup subscription brand and they have their own line as well. Um, so their subscription and they do have their own line to purchase whenever. So they release full face palettes um, and each palette is in collaboration with a popular YouTuber. And now they've created something that's called like a trend kit. Um, which would be these two items. So there's something new every single month. They're full-size palettes and the kits cost um, $29.95. And they do have free shipping to US, Canada, and the UK. So I'm gonna start with the new liquid highlighter from Morphe. What I'm gonna do with this is put it on my back of my hand and I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to put this on the high points of my face. Um, this is gonna make sure that I have like a dewy glow come through my foundation. Even though the foundation I'm using is going to be dewy, it claims that it's not. It claims that it's matte. I'll oh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but it is very dewy. Actually, I'm just going to tap it on my face and then blend it out with my finger. Because my sponge is just absorbing too much of it. So all over the high points of the face. The nose, the cupid's bow. It's on the lips too. And it's a little bit above the brow. So this isn't going to totally show through, it's just gonna peek over or peek through the foundation. By the way, this is shade Optic. And then also if you don't have like a glowy foundation or anything, you can always mix this in with your foundation. So I'm actually going to take whatever's left over right here on the back of my palm or back of my hand and mix it in with the foundation I'm wearing. This is the Confidence in a Foundation Long Wear Weightless Full Coverage Foundation. Um, and this is by It Cosmetics. So I'm going to use shade Light Beige and put that on the back of my hand, mix it in with that liquid highlighter and just apply it with my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna use the Morphe Fluidity Concealer and I'm going to be in shade C155. Oh, this is a good shade. Now I'm going to cream contour. I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Stick in shade medium. So I've been wanting to try new contour sticks, but I just don't really feel like a lot of people have them. I don't know of any. I use mostly drugstore. I have like the Fenty one. Um, I have Anastasia, but I just feel like I just want to be new. I want to try something new, but I just, there's not really any contour sticks out there. So if y'all have a suggestion for a contour stick, that's really good, that blends. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Give me your favorite contour stick. For now, I'll be using drugstore. Don't get me wrong, drugstore contour is so good. T contour sticks are so good. They're my favorites that I've used, honestly. All right, so now we have all of our creams down. I'm gonna go ahead and set the face. Uh, I'm going to use Bye Bye Pores Illumination. This is like illuminating setting, illuminating face powder um, for setting your face, obviously. Uh, but it has like a little bit of like a shimmer to it, a sheen. So I like to set my face with this when I want that glowy look still, because I don't want to be super matte 
I don't want too much powder. So I'm gonna take that on my sponge. I'm just gonna run it on my sponge and then I'm just going to set my under eye right up into my creases, just so that doesn't crease. And then the rest will set with a brush. All right, so I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm just going to tap into this, just like this. And I'm just going to push into my skin. I'm not going to spite. Um, I'm going to do this very gently because I do want that dewy look still, so I don't want to really pack on the powder. Alright, so now I'm going to bronze. Um, I'm going to use a shimmery bronzer, obviously, to get that glow. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've never used a shimmery bronzer, so I don't really have a lot. I usually throw them out, or not throw them out, I guess give them away. <laughs> um, but I do have one that I found by BH Cosmetics. Um, I think this is really old. I've had this for like, probably like two years. Um, but I'm going to use this, see if it works out. This is a satin bronzer, and this is in tropical tan. All right, so I'm gonna use a soft brush to apply this. This is from, this is the Jeffrey Morphe collection. So I'm just gonna hit the tops of the cheeks. Um, I feel like this is a pigmented bronzer, so I'm just gonna do a very light amount. So definitely a key to looking glowy and bronzy and healthy and like summery. Is definitely using a bronzer because you definitely want to have that like golden effect that very tan look so don't be afraid to use the bronzer so for blush um, i'm going to use another shimmer um just to keep on theme with the glow obviously how many times have i said glow in this video i'm going to use collabs soft 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 spot sheer blush and this is in shade first base i'm going to apply that lightly with a light hand I'm going to just apply it right here on the cheeks. I've really been into blush lately. I, I've really been feeling like blush. So I've been like kind of packing it on lately. I'm not gonna lie, I like the way it looks. And I like to bring it in a little bit more than I usually do. So blush definitely will help you get that summer look like you've been sun kissed by the sun. All right, lots of blush, but it will be toned down definitely when everything else is done. It won't be as noticeable. So first off, I'm going to take that Morphe highlighter again. I'm going to put that on my face with a sponge, and then I'm going to go in with a brush and highlight with a powder. So we're going to have two steps to highlighting here. I'm going to put on the back of my hand and then take my sponge, just dip it in, and then just apply to the cheeks. All right, so as you can see, it gives a little bit of a subtle, sheer glow all over the face. I like a natural glow, so now, since we have that down, we're going to go on top with a powder highlighter. All right, so for a highlighter, I'm going to use Ofra Highlighter. This is Rodeo Drive. So this is a very, very blinding highlighter, um, but the formula is so pretty. It's so, like, smooth. It doesn't make anything textured. Um, there's no casts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm not gonna put on as much as I usually would since I do have a little bit of that glow here. But I'm just going to very softly hit the very high parts of the cheek. Initially hit the high parts and then go around and blend it once a little bit is off your brush. And also um, that base we put down, the liquid base is also gonna help the highlighter pop a little bit more. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab shade Sands. This is the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm going to use the flat side of the brush to apply it. I'm just gonna pack it all over the lid. This is gonna be the base, and this is going to set the concealer or the foundation that I have on my lids. I'm gonna take shade Sunrise, and I'm going to place that right into the crease, blend that all over the crease from back to front. Wow. It's very pigmented. That was barely a tap into the pan. And there it is. All right, now I'm gonna take Wildflower and I'm gonna put that into the crease as well, just a little bit lower into the crease. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade Scorched and I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner of my eyelid. Next, I'm going to take shade Sahara and pack that all over the inner corner of the lid. Now I'm going to take Sahara on the smaller end of the brush and I'm going to put that on my brow bone for a bright highlight. And the inner corner as well. If 
For the lower lash line, I'm going to take Wildflower and I'm going to run that all along the lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to do yellow eyeliner and I'm going to use the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in shade Queen Bee. And I'm just going to do a wing. Alright guys, so here are the eyes finished. I just threw on some lashes, some mascara, and yeah, so now we're going to move on to lips. Alright, so I'm going to use the Jouer Long Wear Cream Lip Liner and I'm going to use shade Nude. So I'm just going to outline my lips with this lip liner. I don't typically like lip liners or use them, but I do like the Jouer ones, they're very creamy. And now I'm going to take the KKW cream lipstick and this is number one and I'm just going to put that in the middle and kind of ombre it out. Alright and lastly for the lips I'm going to use Jouer lip topper and this is in shade rose gold. I'm just going to put that right into the center of the lips. Alright guys, so here's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything about Kika Scarlet or want to check it out, I will have links down below and you guys can check out their palettes and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, this glowy, springy, colorful tutorial. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces.